Is this thing on? What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Let's do a little chit chat. Get ready with me and get to know me. I feel like I've been on here with like shorts and whatnot. I've never really like introduced myself. So we're gonna get ready together. We're gonna do this hair. We're gonna do some face. Eyes, lips, face. Hey. I also have this microphone on my camera. So I hope that it doesn't make this funky or that would be really awkward. These are kind of really hard for me because it's like when you're in a classroom and you're like waiting for your turn to be called and it's like, <sighs> you have to give like two truths and a lie or something and panic. Panic at the disco, but there's no disco. Anyway, let's start things off strong with the heat protectant. I'll go ahead and list all the products I use in the description box. Um, if I don't do that, remind me to do that. And I'll do that. <laughs> Brush it out to distribute it. I might need to take a break here in a second. Um, it's 10.50 and it's solar eclipse day. So I heard you could he hear it. I heard you could hear the solar eclipse best in Texas. All right, she's all brushed out. Let's get to drawing. I'm not gonna talk during this part of the video because you won't be able to hear me. Oh, one thing about me is I do swear a lot. So it's how I speak. When I dry my hair, I will usually let it air dry mostly and then just blow dry the rest of it. The less heat, the better. And I usually like will style my hair like once every wash and then just use my heatless curling method like until I wash my hair again. All right, I'm gonna be using this round brush that I bought off of TikTok shop. Oh my gosh, hello. I see all the girlies on the internet using it, so that means it's got to be good, right? It's got to be good. This is actually like my very first time trying this, so we'll see how it goes. This is kind of cool. You can like, oh, that's way too hot. Let's do like three. Okay, so there's no 400, no 400 setting. Um, there's only 420. Wow, I'm really close to the camera. Hey. And then it tells you where it's at. Damn, that heats up kind of fast. Let's do 390, because I feel like that's safe. I'm gonna section my hair. Hit it with another heat protectant. This is the same brand as my blow dry mist. It's Kenra. It's called Hot Spray. So it says Firm Hold Heat Protection Spray. So it's a heat protectant, but it also is like kind of like hairspray y. Just do like. Oh. Couple spritzies per layer. Brush it to evenly distribute it. Try not to spray your face. Also, this is really cute. <laughs> All right, now I usually curl my hair with a straightening iron, um, but I don't know. I feel like thinking about it, like that clamp of just heat on my hair is so damaging. And every time I go get my hair done, it's like, it. she needs a cut. She needs a cut. I think people usually try to do like a blowout sort of deal. But I guess we'll just send it. How do people do this shit? I'm gonna have to <laughs> figure out how to curl. All right, all right, okay. I mean, that's not really the way I wanted my curl to go, but that works. Maybe I need to try a smaller section. Let's try that. Do we need to like. I don't know. Let's just, let's just brush it out. Let's just do that. Maybe I'll do that and like, just, just try to do the freaking blowout look. I don't know. Oh yeah, you're supposed to be getting to know me. Um, hello, my name is Natalie. I'm 26 years old and <laughs> I'm a Virgo. 
Okay, all right. Okay, that works. <laughs> Born and raised Bay Area girl, moved to Northern California for school and have lived here ever since. Okay. How does it look? Does it look like a blowout? If you look at my banner on my YouTube page, it says fitness, food, and fashion. The three F's. Fourth is fuck. <laughs> I got my degree in exercise physiology. I love fitness. Huge weightlifting girl, uh, but you probably couldn't tell if you looked at me because I'm skinny, which is fine, but I would like to be stronger. If only I ate more. I grew up dancing. I actually didn't start weightlifting until I came to college and a friend introduced me to the dumbbell and the barbell. And I just loved it ever since. I like to run and I like to do CrossFit. I've ran two, two, four? October, January. I've ran four half marathons and I haven't ran since my last one, which was in March. Solely because I have bad knees and I just need to strengthen the muscles surrounding my knees. I love writing workouts for people. I was a personal trainer for a really long time and now I kind of just do that on the side. I create programs, but my idea is to create an app that's like me because I, like people want to train with me for me, you know, not for a random ass app on the internet. <laughs> it works, but I'd rather just like have my own thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, I have no idea what hair has been curled and what hair has it. Um, clearly I get distracted easily. I'm very much like mental health advocate. I have bipolar two. I was diagnosed and it was a long time of trying to figure out like whether it was depression or if I had ADHD or this, that, and the other because it runs in my family. But finally, we finally tested for bipolar. It seemed like that's what it was, like for sure. So I actually ended up getting on medication for that and I just am a mentally ill person. But I am very much open about it because my ah, and I post my whole life on Instagram. I have a lot of people who reach out to me and have told me that it's helped them in one way or another. That makes me like really emotional thinking about it. Thinking that I can like help somebody who's also struggling with a similar condition or totally different. I mean, you never know, but it's just, it's really good to know that even if I just help one person, like, I would get emotional talking about it. So we're gonna stop right there. This is absolutely something I want to be sharing on this channel as well. Because you see me, you're like, oh, she's goofy, she's silly, you know, like whatever, this, that, and the other. She's a bubbly person. But then like, if you were to really like dig deep into my roots and understand who I actually am as a person, it's like, holy shit. Using this e.l.f. concealer, it actually like works pretty decent if you ask me, um, but I'm also not a makeup guru. <laughs> it like a little bit goes a long way with this off the chain today. Oh! Oof. Don't get older if you want to join the crack. God, I look so scary. Why do I look like that? I'm truly out of breath, but I gotta blend the fall. I think I'm gonna like, <laughs> this is gonna be a really long video. It's going to be, it has to be. Cause I like, won't shut the fuck up. I like have never had acne in my life, which grateful, thankful, blessed. But now that I'm older, I'm getting like more pimples. I'm like, am I oilier, oily, oilier? I am quite literally sweat buckets. Set her down. I always let this sit for like a hot second and then I'll do my eyeliner, eyeshadow, and then just brush off all the fallout. But yeah, I feel like I'm a pretty boring person. This, that, and the other, or I'm gonna... Damn, that door hinge is literally coming off. I don't take medication anymore. Maybe that's something else I didn't talk about. I don't take medication for 
it, which maybe I should, or maybe I should at least go to like therapy or something. However, I would like to find ways to not take medicine and heal myself, not heal, I'm never gonna be healed. That's never gonna be a go away type, type of thing, you know? Um, but take care of my body with food and fitness. Can you hear that? A little bit of this. I feel like I, my cheekbones are already like high as Just do like a wee like that. I don't know, I'm not gonna do anything like too crazy. Clearly I use the other side for blush and never clean my brushes. <laughs> Just do like a wee, honestly. Uh, just a wee, just a wee bet. And then I'll dibble dabble in the in the blushies. I think I like to I like to consider myself like a very pretty very pretty ve outgoing person. But then I go in public and I'm like, hee hee. But then I but then I start having like conversations with people and then I'm fine. Like I'm great. I feel like I'm great at giving presentations and I was like always really good at that in college and never had a problem like standing in front of people and speaking in front of people. But I think it, uh, why is that? Hey, hey, curl them <laughs> to the gods. Hold up. For sure felt like I was gonna rip my freaking eyeballs out. I'll be back with this too. Close enough. Live, laugh, love. It's topper off with this sleeping mask that just works wonderfully as a chapstick. All right, finished look. I don't love my hair, but I think I just need to figure out how to use that thing thing. Thanks for watching. Um, this is, I don't know why, I just like feel so good about getting this out there and introducing myself to you guys. Um, there's probably more I could talk about, but I, I can't think of it right now. So if you have any questions, always feel free to leave a comment uh, or feedback or whatever you may have, because this is all pretty new to me. Um, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my channel. I only have one other full length video, but I do have a couple of shorts. Um, and then I also have Instagram and TikTok. You can follow me there. They, they will be noted. I'm hoping to have a video up Tuesday, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. We'll see how I can stick to that. Anyway, I've been talking for far too long. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'm so glad you're here. Have a beautiful day. Mwah.